everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm going to be getting into the basic principles of mowing and and so what we're talking about here is how to properly mow your lawn to increase the turf quality and I see a lot of people who do not mow right they they will tend to let the grass grow really tall and then they go out and mow it really short and they think that they're doing themselves a favor when really um, it's causing more headache than anything so um, I've spoke about cultural practices in the past and that's you know cultural practices are really kind of the backbone of, of my lawn program and mowing is probably the number one cultural practice that you can do to make sure that you have a quality lawn you can spend as much money as you want on fertilizers and herbicides and fungicides and try to increase the turf quality but if you're not mowing correctly none of that really matters so um, this video is really not going to really pertain to everybody depending on where you're at in the country what grass type you have how tall or how short you mow that grass type all different grass types um, prefer to be mowed at different heights for me in particular I have a tall fescue lawn so I like to mow mine as tall as I can whenever the grass is in a surge growth like it is right now we're definitely kind of in the um, in the beginning stages or the end of round one here in the spring and and generally my last cut right before the for the winter is my lowest cut of the year I generally cut that at two and a half inches and then I raise the height of cut slowly as the grass wakes up in the winter time so I will go from two and a half inches to uh, three inches and then three and a half to four and then sometimes four and a quarter in the summer when the heat stress is uh, posing the most so right now my grass is sitting at about five inches and we need to go ahead and mow it so um, I'm going to take you through kind of my premise of how I like to mow um, generally mowing in different directions each time if you mow in the same direction all the time and the grass blades are always bent over on top of each other a lot of times that can create some some fungus issues for you when you have times of heat stress so um, in my effort to dominate and domination is nothing new people have been trying to dominate their neighbors for centuries whether it was um, you being able to have a patch of your property that was green you didn't have to grow crops on it that was a way for you to assert yourself over your neighbors that would tell them that you're here to dominate and you're doing better than they are so today things are a little bit different now we do that with um, really green grass and double fat wide stripes um, so things have simplified quite a bit but I'm going to go ahead and mow today. We're gonna to cut this down to four and a quarter inches. As I mentioned, I'm at five inches right now, so I'm not taking off more than one third of the grass blade. So without further ado, let's mow. The really common question that you get from people is what's the best way to mow a straight line and the way I do it and I think the way most people do it is if you cut along the sidewalk or the driveway and cut that pass first and then try and stay on that path it'll be as straight as possible.
right, so we laid down some stripes today, and if you can see, they're very faint. Um, we've got where we, the lines that we cut today, compared to lines that we've cut in the past couple of days and past few weeks. The last time I mowed my lawn was on Wednesday, and today is Saturday, so that's another good point, is that as a rule of thumb, I try to mow twice a week, if not more, depending on how vigorously the grass is growing. So if I'm mowing twice a week, it's gonna help me stay within the one-third rule and I'm not breaking too much of the grass plant off and stressing the grass out too much. So when you mow in multiple directions, multiple times a week, you get kind of the effect of where it gives you the illusion that there's stripes going in multiple directions, which personally, I, I do like. Second part of that is um, how sharp are your mower blades? So you've seen the guys that use the real mowers and they stick the paper inside the bed knife and they turn the reel and it cuts the paper really sharp. Um, same can be said for the rotary type blades is that you know you definitely want to have those sharp so that when you're cutting the tops of the blades that they're not ripping and tearing that you're getting a nice clean cut. Now here's an example of a blade that has a nice clean cut. So key takeaway is frequency of mowing, sharpen your blades, the more you mow, the better it will grow. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the grass clippings blown off um, because I do typically like to side discharge or mulch when I can. I don't bag unless my grass is really tall and I haven't had a chance to mow. So um, by returning the grass blades back into the lawn, it really helps with the organic matter and returning those nutrients back into the soil. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sidewalks and the driveway blown off. I really hope that you guys like the content here, and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.